I have had a crazy poker career, and these are my top 10 moments. Oh yeah, here I am, heads up. Biggest tournament spot of my life. There's a lot on the line here, I was fucking nervous. I think it's gonna be three bet stuff. You can hear in my voice, you can hear in my voice how nervous I am. I obviously have no clue how to play heads up strategy, I just shoved the king deuce, which is just a horrible, horrible poker play. This guy just slow rolls me! Oh, deuce ball please. Deuce! Yes! Yes, hold, hold! Yeah, we're the champions! We're the champions, yes! Oh my god! So massive, we shipped it. We took it down for 8.4k USD. Bro, I'm so pumped. My first ever tournament win. This blew up my stream. It was such a big increase to my net worth and it was still all in jeopardy. Do I want to do content? Do I really want to do this? It's just so fun, those early moments of poker where you're just trying to make it in the industry. Oh Number nine is when I started in Canada with the tiny bankroll and we really grinded it up. It was those first days where the bills had to get paid. Poker was my only source of income. I'm looking at these chips, I'm getting flashbacks, but games were so good in Canada, the rake was so low. This was my graph. Every time I went and played, I kept careful track of how much money I won and lost. I won, I think 14 months in a row. I played 14 months full time. I never had a losing month. Number eight. $84,000 score in the 1K Tuesday Classic. The cool thing about this run is I was really in the zone. I made some incredible reads. I was even calling some cards. I, I, th I think we're probably ahead. Probably is like 10-9 off doing the math. Okay, just double check. Yes, we got the ladder. Here we go, guys. I think we're ahead. Yeah, 10-9 off, bro? Am I just fucking unbelievable? Show me like, uh, you know, the four or five of spades that got counterfeited. Oh my God. Show me the four or five of spades that got counterfeited. Made the final table where the short stack, and then I had this crazy spot with pocket nines versus Adrian Mateos. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my hand here. I think I'm gonna dominate him too much. Queen three, queen three, getting good, nice. Deuce. No queen, no ace. Bang! Yes! Oh my God! And now I had heaps. I was able to grind it into a top three position, and to my surprise, these two good players, they made a deal with me. We took a deal and I locked up $84,000. Oh my God, he took a deal. I'm so fucking happy, man. I just locked up 84,000. Moment number seven is when I got a huge score in the $22 mini Sunday million. Now this was massive because this was at the start of my poker content career, but my viewership was good and I've been working hard on my poker game. I just hadn't put a big number on the board yet. And this was it. This was a crazy run. It was a $22 tournament and let's check it out. Open shove, please open shove, 12 bigs. Oh! Oh, oh shit. There's $27,000 for the win, 86%. Brick! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! And we get to the final table. We're chip leading for a huge chunk of this thing. And the best moment comes here. This sets up one of my favorite hands of all time. I have king high here. Absolutely not much. But I call the flop. He bets the turn. I call the turn. And here we are on the river. You can hear me say, I think my king high is good. I think my king high is good. I think my king high is good. Pentakiller goes <laughs> all in. Um, ace raises, jams through streets, king jack, that's turn, shoves river, I block that. I think they have a lot of bluffs though. The only rep in an ace or king jack, I think I call. Shop it up. It would have been a little bit better if I would have scooped the hand, but I mean, that's like a hell of a call. I go on, I get heads up. I get on the suit jacket, I make a deal for $22,000, the biggest win of my career. Oh man, yes, yes. I can't believe we did it. I'm freaking out. We just won 22,000 American dollars. Number six is when I buckled in and decided to actually try to win at poker. Picture this, I'm 23, 24, my content's doing well, but there was a point in time where I decided I wanna actually try to beat this game. So I started studying tons, I started getting coaches, I started really buckling in, and my entire goal was to try to win at the mid stakes. Tournaments between $20 and 109s. Could I grind these and win? And it worked. I really buckled in. I put my heart and soul into it and we just started just pounding out these wins and doing really well. Yeah. 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 
no queen and we are a winner. No queen and we are a winner, baby. This is for massive amounts of equity. Boom, baby. Let's go. What a final table that was. Ah. Oh, let's go. Overall, I played 8,000 tournaments during this stretch. I made about $70,000 plus rake back, plus income from the content. It's like the first time I really started to cook and make a little bit of money in the poker world. Disclaimer, this is not the reality of professional poker. I mean, I've had huge losses. I've had 100K downswings. I've had moments where I felt like I never was gonna win again. These are just my top 10 moments when I was in the zone and really flowing. Let's keep going. Number five is when I got second place in a run it up Reno main event. Amazing series put on by Jason Somerville where we were just playing for like $63,000 for first. So here at the final table, ready to put on a show. It's just highlighted by like, you know, really nice moves like this with the ace deuce of diamonds. Hand selection shorthanded to uh, make a squeeze. Oh, looks like it's gonna work. Oh wow, Kevin actually shoves. Oh. How many blinds is that effective? That's a Kevin's shoving move. a ton. It's like 30 blinds shoved there with the AC Deucey. That's Gangster Girls. Wow. Kmart is in the lab. Wow. Ace Deuce. Shout out to Ann Arbor, Michigan right there. Look at that, man. Look at that. He can't help himself. He knows he made a great play. And then heads up versus Matt Stout for the trophy, all the money. I play one of the best hands of my career. This is one of my favorite hands ever. Check it out. Heads up, I raise ace king of diamonds and Matthew Stout calls. Flop, amazing. Jack high, two diamonds, let's go. I bet he calls. Turn a four, I still love my hand here. I also have a straight draw now. I bet again, he calls. I have a massive hand. River offsuit five. I think this card's amazing. It's so hard for him to have a six. He checks. I go pretty big for value. I have to go for value here and he shoves. It's disgusting. You can hear him instantly curse. What's the count? You know, like, I, I think about it, I think about it, I just don't think he's ever, ever bluffing here. Brutal. What's going through Kevin's head right now is, how is Matt ever bluffing in this spot? 15, it might even have less. Nice fold, Nice Kev. fold, nice fold. I went on to lose, Matt Stout won, which hurt a little bit, but it's just an unbelievable score. To bet fold that river just to go with the pure read, getting such a good price, I mean, amazing. Number four is my appearance on a high stakes game on Live at the Bike. This was the first time I was on a live stream of this magnitude. So all my friends and family got to watch me do my thing and the show went amazing. I made some really nice folds. I escaped from situations. I was playing pretty alpha. And then maybe my favorite hand ever. If my career ended today, I would probably say this is the best hand I ever played. Roll the tape. Bluff hand. We block kings, we block queens, we block king jack. I mean, this is aggressive. Most of my money is in the middle here with just king high. So you don't want to do this all the time. Oh no. Oh no. He of course calls. In my head, I'm screaming 10. It's bouncing around my noggin. Please let me get there. No, it's a board pairing jack. He could easily have a jack. In my brain, I literally say the words give up. I throw the white flag. But then the twinkle in my eye goes, and I just think maybe I can win this hand. Maybe I can get him to fold. Would he fold an overpair? I don't know, maybe, but maybe he wouldn't. And then I say, fuck it, let's try. Oh, it, the adrenaline was pumping. Oh my God, he doesn't even use a time bank and he folds queens. Incredible play from Kmart. He understands his image and he goes for the bluff. We go on to have a massive win. I win over 70,000 USD. Ooh, one of my favorite moments in my career. Number three, my performance in the 2022 Online GG Championships. Now, online poker high stakes is hard. It's elite players, tough competitions. I'd done well with the small stakes, the mid stakes, but I wanted to compete. So that year in 2022, I did like a couple hundred hours of these poker study challenges. I've been working with my coaches and I felt like I was really peaking in my skill level and I went for it and we crushed it. GG. GG. Wow, what a river. We competed really well. I was flowing, I was running well. We ended up cashing for $230,000, a 60K profit, which was amazing. I broke my viewership records. I broke some numbers on YouTube. First time ever, I felt like I really competed at an elite level. And maybe just like considering skill-wise, 
That might have been the best month of poker I ever played. Number two was the most inferno, godlike, superhuman, inhumane run I've ever been on. It was the year of the inferno. Unbelievable. 2018 in January, I got second place in a 1K. I lost heads up. This was my biggest score ever for $36,000. I had no idea that it was just the start. That summer, June, I bang off my first main event in Calgary for $37,000. Next tournament I played was this 1K. I won it at the Deerfoot for $24,000. I then made an insane deal as a short stack at a final table, another 6k profit, and then the very next tournament, August main event, I shipped the Deerfoot main for $50,000, and the heat was still going. That fall, run it up Reno, I get second in the main event for 48k USD. Then the next series in Calgary, I final table this tournament. I remember this, I punted so hard at this table. I was so upset, I got fifth for 10,000. I was so upset, I showed up for the next tournament, which was a six max, and we just shipped it for 15K. Look at this run here. First, first, fifth, first, 18th, second, fifth, first. Like, it was so sick. I actually became a bit of a villain, I think, in the Canadian poker community during this time. I was young, I was winning all the money, talking a little bit of shit, I was a little bit cocky. People were cheering for me, but like a lot of people were really sick of me at this time. That February in 2019, I shipped it. I don't know what this hairstyle was, but I won another tournament for 45,000. And then that summer, I got another main event result, third place for 40K. Leaving me with the most insane graph I've ever seen. This was my run here in Canada. I cashed for 360,000 off of 60K in buy-ins. I mean, look at this graph, bro. It's not like a poker graph. It looks like fucking Lego blocks. In that year and a half, I made 300K of pure profit. And the crazy thing is, it didn't really end. I got burnt out and I withdrew myself and I'm tempted. What if I got back into live poker and made some content? Wink, wink, subscribe. There might be some of that coming on the YouTube channel. It was an insane run. I don't think I will ever be able to repeat it. That level of continued banging off victories. Whew, man, as a young 20 year old, bro, you're just living the dream. And the best poker moment of my life, without a doubt, is my insane score in the Colossus. December 2021. Wasn't expecting anything. I had 16 big blinds to start day two, 1300 players left. How could it happen? Well, pot after pot after pot, we got it going. And things got really real. Final 23, this insane flip here. This is when it sunk in. Oh Ace my flip. God. Threes. Hold. Oh my god, we win. We can only chop. No three. Oh my god. No three. Boom! Holy shit, 30 million. And then without a doubt, the biggest monetary suckout I've ever had, the biggest moment of luck in my entire poker career was this hand with pocket queens. Just have ace jack. Just have ace jack, 40 million. Wow, we did slow play the aces. We need the biggest queen of our life, queen. <laughs> Oh my lord! Hold! Deuce! 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 Oh my god! Can you believe that? Holy fuck! You love to see it. That was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it led into this moment. You can make an argument that this was the most insane bluff ever. We're almost at the final table. Big stack here. I just go to war from the big blind with this hand. I'm all in balls. Fold, fold. This is fucking ballsy. Gotta do it though in this river. Just fold. How can you call all the money, all the ICM? Just fold. I'm a fucking monster. Oh my God. I'm gonna look back at that and that's how I won the Colossus. That hand right there. Oh man. After that, we calmed it down. We played a pretty chill final table. We navigated to third position. Was hoping to win. But then, I busted. I busted. And I was upset a little bit. I'm competitive in the moment. You want to win. But then the realization quickly sunk in that this was a serious, serious amount of money. Celebrated with Peely. Celebrated with my community. You know, truly special stuff. And that is the top 10 poker moments of my career. It's really cool to relive these, you guys. I started with the dream and like, you know, these moments, bro, uh, the happiness I felt in all these moments was real. And 
think we're just getting started, baby. Hit the sub button. More life-changing poker moments coming up for sure the next couple years. Let's get it.